Well, there are still a lot of questions about testing for coronavirus. What exactly makes you eligible for that testing? Well, Channel 3's Claudia Coco joins us live at the Chattanooga Hamilton County Health Department with the story of one woman who's concerned about testing. Joy, Cindy, you know, I spoke with a woman earlier today who has a compromised immune system, and she did tell us that her symptoms yesterday, she has cough, shortness of breath, and fever, but she was told today that she won't be getting tested for coronavirus. April Henderson lives in Marion County and is immunocompromised due to several health issues. She called her doctor because she was showing symptoms of COVID-19. Yesterday was really bad, I couldn't get words out without being short of breath. Um, my cough got deeper. I had a fever of 100 and it was 100. Point two. After being shuffled around from doctor to doctor yesterday, she was diagnosed with lower lobe pneumonia with an unspecified organism. After being told to call to set up a COVID-19 test by her doctor, today she got an email from their office saying she didn't meet the CDC's protocol to be tested. I most likely just have pneumonia picked up in the community because of my compromised immune system that I do not meet the protocol of leaving the country or being in contact with a known case. But Henderson has concern that those are the reasons she didn't qualify. I mean, the biggest thing is why isn't one of the protocols having symptoms? Henderson says she has been out in the community. Her practitioner stated at the time of the email that there are no known local cases. CDC's guidelines for testing include going to an area with an ongoing spread of COVID-19 or coming in close contact with a person known to have COVID-19. Now, we do, uh, we are working to find out why she didn't qualify for quarantine or testing. We did contact the regional health department. And they say they follow the CDC's uh, guidelines. Now, we were also in contact with the state health department earlier today. We were trying to figure out if those guidelines are going to change anytime soon because of the number of cases growing within the U.S. For now, live in Hamilton County, Claudia Coco, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.